So you want to get your app in front of potential users, especially in international markets? With well over 4 million apps in the Apple App Store and on Google Play, and almost 100,000 new apps released each month, that's no easy task. In fact, more than 65% of all new app downloads begin with a simple search in the App Store. To make sure your app is discoverable by your target audience, you need App Store Optimization, or ASO for short. Multilingual ASO gives you three things. Better rankings in relevant categories and specific search terms, more downloads, and a higher conversion rate for each market. So what exactly is ASO? Say you're looking for cooking inspiration and type recipe into the App Store search bar. When you hit search, you'll see a wide selection of cooking apps. What do you do now? Scroll down and read the description of every app before picking the best one? Probably not. Instead, you'll download one of the apps close to the top because it'll catch your eye first. And that's where ASO comes in. With ASO, you optimize your App Store page and all its content to make sure your app stands out from the crowd. Now, when you're aiming for international success, this stuff becomes multilingual because you want your app to be on the map no matter where your users are based. This means that you need to translate and adapt the relevant App Store content to each market you're targeting so that your app can be easily found in the stores that your new customers prefer to use. You can do this by yourself or with the help of a language service provider like Supertext. How does it all work? There are seven key factors that affect your search ranking and conversion rate in app stores. Keywords, the app name or title, user ratings, the app description, screenshots, videos, and the app icon. Let's dive into the details. If a user in the U.S. is looking for an app to help them plan a trip, they'll search for the keyword vacation. In the UK, however, they're more likely to search for holiday. Choosing the right keyword is the most effective way of getting discovered by users. A different target audience means different search terms, so a simple translation of your keywords won't be enough. And this isn't a one and done process either. Keywords require continuous readjustment to remain effective. Use the App Store analytics options and tools like Google's Keyword Planner to find out what works best in your new market or ask an LSP with local knowledge for help. Go for keywords with high search volumes but low competition. These are your gateway to success. By the way, the Apple App Store gives you 100 extra characters to enter keywords, whereas in the Google Play Store, you'll need to put them directly in the app description. It's best to focus on the first three lines here because users will have to tap to read any further. Your app name should be easy to understand in the new language and it should contain the main keyword. This boosts your app's ranking by 10%. Ask a native speaker whether the name is unique in the new market and whether it communicates the app's purpose effectively. Remember, Apple only gives you 30 characters for your app's name and subtitle, while Google gives you 50 for the title and short description. So make them count. The way in which you address users can vary significantly between different markets. For example, while English has no distinction between polite and informal pronouns, languages like French do. And referring to a French-speaking user informally might just sink your app. Customers in different countries may also have different general expectations for your content. For example, German speakers like information that provides concrete added value, while US-based users respond better to emotional appeals and localization covers more than just your App Store page. You also need to find out which advertising platforms and social media channels call the shots in your new market, and then translate your slogans and campaigns with this key player in mind. Online surveys or an LSP with experts in your target country can help you identify the changes you need to make for a strong launch in the new market. Your app page's visuals include the icon, screenshots, images, and video previews. All of these have a strong effect on your click-through and conversion rates in the app stores. So they don't just need to feature the right language for your target market, but also the appropriate images and even colors. If you're marketing a travel app, for example, 
This would mean showing the relevant local landmarks or tourist attractions in your screenshots. Two final things to bear in mind. The App Stores provide you with all the settings you need to target a global audience. The Apple App Store offers 39 different languages, while Google Play has 82. And the languages are split according to region, meaning that Spanish is divided between Spain, Latin America, and the US. All you have to do is select the most relevant regions and get started. Finally, if your app has a lot of potential in another market, you should definitely consider a full-scale localization of all its content. But starting with your App Store page is a good way to test the waters and to get a feel for where your app will be most successful. For more information about app localization or questions on multilingual App Store optimization, visit us at supertext.com ASO or just leave a comment below this video.